Happy weekend, everyone. This is a pick a card reading for today and tomorrow, Saturday and Sunday, March 27th and March 28th. You pick a card and it's a one card though for both days, but I will explain how it'll go into Sunday too. And then I will pull them all together. And for March 27th birthdays, we'll do you next. And March 28th birthdays, we'll do you next. And check out the next video for the full moon in um, Libra. Um, that's tomorrow, the full moon in Libra, but the video will be coming out. So you could check that out, a uh, reading for everyone. So let's get started. All right, if you pick card number one, you have the seven of wands. Okay, for the seven of wands, starting off for today, Saturday, what I'm feeling here is, you know, it, it standing your ground. It's always standing your ground. You're trying to get things done. You will get things done. You will get what you want. Um, and then it, it's creating a new beginning too. For some of you, this could be, if it's love, I don't know why I'm picking up, uh, there is something that's kind of brief and maybe you misinterpreted something is what I'm feeling as well. Nothing lasts forever. You will get things done. So I do see that and you will get what you want. So I'm picking that up for, uh, today, Saturday, merging into Sunday. I feel, um, doing things differently and patience is going to be very important. So change things up. Okay, very creative energy and patience. There will be some good news that's going to come through too. But the I feel um, do things differently for the next. I feel for not just from Sunday on for the next two weeks. Um, stand your ground. You may have to kind of uh, it's like challenges with other or competitive energy. But I do see some jealousy and maybe even anger around you. So for the next two weeks, stand your ground is what I'm feeling as well. Okay. If you pick card number two for today, Saturday, and I'm going to merge it into Sunday, you have the five of pentacles. Okay, so the five of pentacles is you have to have faith things are going to work out. Um, maybe this has just been an energy where you've just not been, uh, you've been a little bit out of sorts. Um, maybe it's like you've, you've had some goals and you kind of retracted or gave in. This could be for some of you, uh, it's like maybe you've been dieting and now you've kind of been overeating and you're feeling kind of bad. I picked that up for someone out there. But um, so it's everything in moderation will be great. I feel there will be some kind of blessing celebrations and that coming through today, Saturday. But don't overdo anything is what I'm feeling because then you're going to feel like, ah, what did you know what I mean? Um, there's going to be a sudden change in situation. So whatever you're feeling down about or whatever you're kind of worried about, there will be a sudden change. And there will be, if it's money that's concerned, there's going to be a good deal or some kind of offer. Some money should be coming through too. You have to have faith. Going into Sunday, I do feel there's a lot of choices coming up, a lot of thoughts of the future. I feel you uh, wish or several things that you've been wanting, um, you're, you're going to see some uh, manifestation or some... Um, it's coming to fruition somehow. So I do see that a lot of you may be planning or thinking about um, summer plans is what I'm thinking for um, Sunday. And, you know, this is also thoughts of someone, you know, maybe you're um, thinking about someone, maybe you're uh, reminiscing some things, but I do feel also um, you need to relax and take some time for yourself. Sunday should be more soothing and calming. Okay. If you pick card number three for today, Saturday, then we're going to merge into Sunday. You have the five of swords. All right. So what I'm picking up today is like you are on guard. It's like they, this could be a time you're doing spring cleaning. You're cleaning things out. What no longer serves you. OK, you could be surrounded by some people who could be a little bit frustrating. Um, I don't know why I pick up a Scorpio energy, a Leo energy, too. But this is like clearing things out. What no longer serves you and you're kind of ready to go. Um, this could be also ends with um, some kind of. Um, I don't know. Maybe you're anxious because you want to go to a party. Maybe you want to get together. There could be an event coming up, but there is some kind of happiness coming through too. Going into Sunday, I do feel you need to be strong, okay? Because there could be some kind of realization or someone may test your patience. Uh, slow down though. Uh, tolerance is important and it's like you may feel um, or realize someone's been taking advantage of you, but you're strong and you're not going to allow it. Um, there could be, you could be dealing with a Sagittarius energy too is what I'm picking up. Okay. Now, when I pull it all together for Saturday, uh, for today is seven of wands, five of pentacles, five of swords. We do see for today is, I feel a, a new beginning is coming through. Okay, there's some truths that may be revealed. Um, we are taking our power back somehow. We're starting off fresh. 
uh, whatever it was done, we retracted, whatever happened, it's starting new, okay? Endings, I feel, somehow, or it's like a powerful new beginning. Manifestation is high as well. It's there, but it's almost like a challenge. This is a time to uh, move forward. Think about what, what, what is good for you. Do not dwell on disappointments, Okay, don't listen to what people, you know, people bringing you down and that do what you feel is right for you. We're moving forward. We're leaving these things that upset us behind us. Okay, so we're seeing that for Saturday going into Sunday, seven of wands, five of pentacles, five of swords. We are seeing here also don't make quick decisions, though. Okay, don't make any rash, quick decisions. It's like you're kind of like critical, doubting some things too. maybe you're planning some kind of a trip. Um, get gather more information. I do see that energy as well, or some kind of truth. It's like something you realize a confirmation may come through too. Um, it's like a sunnier, more energy on Sunday. I feel opportunities are, are presenting themselves, popularity for some. Um, feeling, you know, spending time with the family or kids is is showing up as well. There's a healing energy that's coming through too. Um, I do feel you could be a lot on in your feelings though too. Doing yourself is going to be very important, but at the same time, this is your intuition is telling you something. And I do pick up a Virgo energy too, could be connected to that. All right. So there could be some kind of clarity coming through. Okay. Well, everyone, that is the reading for Saturday and Sunday. You can come back tomorrow and review Sunday as well because these energies do merge. And do check out the full moon in Libra video next, okay, for tomorrow is the full moon in Libra. All right, moving on to today's birthdays. Happy birthday if you're born today, June, uh, not June. Um, wow, maybe something significant will be with June, but today, um, March 27th. This is a very quick and general reading. This is your wish card and your solar, your theme. So make your wish. We'll pull it next. You have the Hierophant. That's a major arcana. Okay. I do feel commitments, talks of marriage. Um, joining a group of people is, going, is coming into focus here this year. You can manifest a lot too and pay attention to your intuition. Um, you could make you could be making a lot of spiritual connections. Okay. So it's like the universe or your spirit guides could be talking to you. Whatever you lack faith in, just know there is a reason, all right? You're spiritually evolving. I see spiritual financial blessings coming through too, but you're going to have to also balance your energies this week. That is what I'm seeing here. Not this week. Okay, this week, but uh, for the rest of uh, for your solar year. Um, when it comes to work, finances, and career, I do feel you. Um, everything you want is within reach. You There's creative solutions. Find your hidden talents. Do what you love. There, You can manage a lot. It's there for you, things working out. When it comes to finances, I do see there's going to be some significant um, settlements and negotiations this year. Uh, for some of you, projects that you've been making or writing a book, it's going to be profitable, but it's all in timing. Okay, communications with finances is going to be important. Um, when it comes to love, if you're single, you could be going into a committed relationship or you will find someone through a group of people, whether it's a dating app or actually in groups of people. If you are in a relationship, there is a strong commitment, um, or a bonding this year too, depends on who, um, or what, you know, if it's been a bad relationship, it's a commitment to yourself. Um, all relationships, it's like groups of people. And, and some of you may be really connecting with spirit, uh, spiritual people as well. So I do see that. For some of you higher ups, um, like leaders in groups or in organizations. All right. Now, your solar, your theme, I mean, your wish is the Ace of Cups. What I feel here is you really need to make this affirmation, believe in it, and move forward um, and let the universe just bring it to you. Um, there's a reason you may feel restricted or stuck for a little bit, and then it comes to fruition, okay? The important numbers for your solar year is 5, 11, 3, 4, 8, 2, and 1. I hope you have a wonderful birthday and a wonderful solar year ahead. And now we're going to move on to... Uh, March 28th birthday is happy birthday if you're born March 28th or if you know someone. Um, this is a very quick and general reading. This is your solar, your theme and your wish card. So you can make a wish. We'll pull it at the end. And you, your birthday hits a 
full moon in a Libra this year. So you should probably be having a lot of endings. And the new moon video, full moon video is next. Okay, so what is your theme for your solar year? There you go, nine of cups. And nine is an ending anyway. So happy endings um, look like they're coming through. Wish fulfillment for some of you, love is coming in. New love or renewal of love or a new strong emotional path. You have a yes to anything I don't answer. You have a uh, wish, at least one wish fulfillment here. Very happy energy. But with nine, just don't overdo a good thing sometimes, okay? A lot of help and love around you. Um, I feel this is a year of making a decision and moving forward. There's travel plans for some of you are going to be significant. When it comes to your work, career, or your um, um, schooling, I do feel uh, nose to the grindstone, you will succeed. There is a lot of information out there. There is a lot of uh, paperwork is what I'm feeling. For some of you, you may get jobs where you're doing investigative uh, uh, work or research and you should be doing well. Now, a warning. There is deception in those areas. Be careful of plagiarism. Be careful of someone stealing your ideas or just lying to you. So there is that energy just to be warned. When it comes to your finances, if you have overspent, this is a time to, um, to really try to do some more money management. Okay, There can be some losses, high losses and high gains, ups and downs with finances. So money management is going to be important. Be careful of get rich, uh, get rich schemes or people wanting to borrow money from you because you may not get it back and then you're going to regret it. So I do see that energy as well. All right. So money is kind of tricky when it comes to love relationships. If you are single, I do feel apply lessons that you have learned. OK, and there is something you need to tie up loose ends from the past so you can move forward. That means either get rid of a, uh, uh, the ex or the energy of an ex um, and make sure who you do bring on with you that you are slow and steady because they may have some kind of, you know, it's like it's like love is complicated type of thing. OK, but otherwise, a lot of you will have a fun, loving um, time dating and having fun. Um, if you are in a relationship, there is something that may return from the past or an interference um, and makes things complicated that you're going to have to deal with. Communication, creativity is going to be important. Some of you may be leaving a neighborhood behind, moving with your partner, something like that is showing up. When it comes to um, all relationships, I do feel um, apply any lessons you had. You don't want to, like if you Notice patterns in relationships with friends and people. Don't let people like that come back and pick and choose wisely. Um, I do feel new relationships are coming through and then people from the past may be coming back. Try, tying up loose ends keeps coming up here. For some of you, teaching is coming in very strongly too. I don't know why. You may be teaching a group of people. All right. Now, your wish for your solar year is the two of pentacles. What I feel here, there can be delays. For some of you, um, it's like you're back and forth. You wish it, then you're like, I don't, you doubt it. Um, or there are two wishes here. So one comes with delays. They may be partial fulfillment right away. Um, pay attention to your intuition. It's going to bring this, um, it's going to help guide you to bring this to fruition here. Okay. Maybe a decision that you have to make as well. All right. The important numbers for your solar year are seven, two, three, one. 9 and 10. I hope you have a wonderful oh, and 27 and 6. I hope you have a wonderful birthday and a wonderful solar year ahead. Pay it um you could take a look at the um full moon uh reading that's next and your birthday does hit on it. So for everyone else um you can come back and review this for Sunday and make sure that you do view the full moon reading. I may post it right after and it is for tomorrow, though, full moon in Libra, uh, March 28th. Have a wonderful weekend, and bye for now.